Hello, in this lecture we are going to discuss the common trigonometric functions used in MATLAB. So let's begin. So here we have got sine cos 10 and the value that has to be entered in the place of x should be expressed in radian. But if you want to use the degree value then you have to use this function sine d where this x is expressed in degrees. So similarly sine d, cos d, tan d like this and the value will be in degree. If you want to calculate the inverse then you have to use this function sine a sin x similarly a cos x and a tan x you can easily calculate the inverse and here we have got the sine h which is sine hyperbolic similarly cos hyperbolic and tan hyperbolic and a sin h is the inverse of sine hyperbolic so these are the common trigonometric functions that you can use and i hope you have understood this syntax of every function and here we have got the exercise questions that you have to solve so in first question you have to calculate the sine 2 theta for theta equal to 3 pi and it will be sine 6 pi so you have to calculate sine 6 pi in the second question you have to calculate cos theta for theta is from 0 to 2 pi and the theta is steps of 0.2 pi it's very simple so i show you that how you can do it sine 6 pi is very simple you type sine and 6 multiply by pi like this and if you want to calculate the cos theta and theta is from 0 to 2 pi then it will be like this first you have to assign a variable like x and from 0 with a step of 0 0.2 pi and from 0 to 2 pi and here you will get these values now you have to calculate the cos theta so I enter cos and in the wrong bracket I enter the variable x and here I have got the cos theta values with a step of 0.2 pi in question number 5 you have to find the cosine of 45 and you have to use the cos d function as it is written already in question 7 uh, it is written find the cosecant of 60 and cosecant is the inverse of sine so you can use the sine inverse function so i hope you have understood these questions and you can easily perform it so in the next lecture we will discuss the data analysis function used in matlab so thanks for watching and see you in the next one